What's up, y'all? This is Astro Dim here doing the Daily Moon Horoscope reading for September 13, 2018. Um, so I'm not going to start off on the um, fucking September 13, 2018 at 12 o'clock a.m. My time, I'm going to start at 12 o'clock p.m. Because at 12 o'clock a.m., it's, you know, the moon is still in the first decade of Scorpio. And if you really want to know how the beginning of your day or your morning is going to be, just listen to September 12th because a lot of information that I have there applies for the morning of, um, you know, September 13th, okay? So... But if we get caught towards like 12 o'clock p.m., uh, even 11 and 10 o'clock onward, and this is Eastern Standard Time, um, you know, that's what you can listen to for, you know, the 13th, okay, um, on this video. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the moon at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be 12 degrees Scorpio. That is the second decade of Scorpio, and the second decade of Scorpio is ruled by Neptune, okay? So, remember how I said before, when it's ruled by Pluto, we're super, super Scorpio, we're really connected, um, again, intimately and emotionally binding and connected with people that we trust. One person, most likely, but it could be two. Um, with it being, Nep well, being a Neptune, we're getting more spiritual in this sense, really connecting to... Um, our spiritual vibes, um, especially with this moon trining Neptune, which I'm going to talk about later, but like we really are starting to understand the ever changing emotions of these people that we are emotionally intimate and bonded with. Okay. Whether it's romantic or platonic. So, um, that's the whole vibe there. Um, and we're starting to kind of feel like a almost telepathic, psychic type of connection with these people. Because that's what, you know, that's what kind of the Scorpio 8th house Pluto vibe is all about, okay? So, yeah, um, especially with Neptune, too, is, you know, that whole psychic vibe. But what, what Pluto and Scorpio and the 8th house is all about is really emotionally connecting and binding and bonding with others, kind of becoming one. You know, that energy kind of reminds me of the composite chart, how you're just blending two energies and making it into one. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, that is the second decade of Scorpio. So let's kind of look at the aspects that this moon is making and go from there. Now, the first thing I see is that this moon is still having, uh, you know, around 12 o'clock at least. Um, oh, still aspecting Venus. So we're still getting that soft and um, kind of vibe. But it's, what it's really doing is um, it is we're kind of understanding our desires. Not just the desires of kind of being in a relationship and connecting with others and being compatible with other people. But we're also, at, um, you know, at the same time, getting our own selfish desires out of this, too. So it's kind of like getting our desires and building our self-worth, as well as getting the desires of the people we're in relationship with and their self-worth and kind of blending it all together and making things softer and more easy to get along. Um, so it's really, it's really good when the sun and the moon or any planet is aspecting Venus. It makes our desires more easy to obtain. Uh, and it just makes us generally chill. So that's dope. But that's going to happen, you know, late mo uh, morning, early afternoon. But then it's the moon is going to move so fast. It's going to move out of that aspect. Because I like to generally give the moon like 10 um, degree orb. The moon and the sun because they're luminaries. I usually kind of, um, you know, give less degrees in this talk because, you know, I could talk about these plans forever. But um, I did I did want to mention that, that we're still going to have that essence happening around that time, okay? Um, this moon, though, is going to also be um, conjunct Jupiter, which is great, right? Um, so our emotions are going to be expanded tremendously. Um, Jupiter is still going to be in the second decade of Scorpio too. And so, um, you know, with Jupiter being in Scorpio, what it's been doing is kind of making us understand the um, philosophical and, you know, religious beliefs that we have about 
um, intimacy, uh, both platonic and romantic, emotionally bonding with others, connecting with others, um, shared worth, um, shared material worth, you know what I mean? And shared emotional worth too. And so we're really kind of understanding it in a big picture kind of way, a philosophical kind of way. And that's what's being strong here. Um, you know, what's also interesting too is that we might be emotionally yearning for that husband. The Jupiter represents that husband. And, you know, uh, when I say husband, I mean just a uh, masculine energy partner. So it may not be a man, but just masculine energy partner. That's what we're trying to yearn. That's what we're yearning for, especially with Venus also being connected here. That's what we're emotionally kind of wanting to get. And so we're kind of trying to see things in a bigger picture to have a better understanding of that. Okay, our emotions might be high. Um, Jupiter brings abundance for better or for worse. <laughs> so just know that. But usually Jupiter is a happy, smiley kind of energy, similar to Venus. But um, it's more better or for worse than Venus is. And so we can be highly emotional, um, especially with this moon being in um, a Neptune decant of Scorpio, and this moon also can um, make an aspect to um, Neptune. You know, this the emotions are running high, um, and we're actually being able to be more um, intuitive. And you know, we can do what Neptune retrograde has been trying to tell us to do: sharpen that intuition, um, discovering our self undoing, discovering our um, disillusions, um, or delusions or disillusionments to kind of strengthen our intuition. You know what I mean? Um, cause that's what, that's what like Neptune retrograde does. It makes things hazy and confusing so we can learn how to sharpen our intuition. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'll get a little bit more into that a little later. Let's talk a little bit more about these other aspects that are happening. This moon is, um, going to be, um, sextile Pluto, um, so with that energy, um, you know, it's similar to like the Saturn one. Um, but the thing is with Saturn, they're trying to, um, connect their authority to, uh, you know, get the status and reputation that you want. Pluto is not really focused on, um, authority as much as empowerment, how to empower yourself to, um, get the status and reputation that you want but also how to get um, use the deep emotional relationships you have to get the status of reputation that you want too, which is all up Scorpio's um, alley. You know, the moon in Scorpio's um, alley is, you know, that's what they're trying to do is use your intuition to emotionally bond with others, kind of get psychic with one another. And so the, the energy is flowing well um, here, which is great. Now, kind of going back to the moon trine Neptune, again, trine energy just makes things easier. It makes them so easy that you barely have to try. And so you're going to be really intuitive today, but you may not have that same intuition tomorrow. Just know that, okay? This is just easy energy that's flowing right now. So with the moon trining Neptune retrograde, um, you are extremely, extremely intuitive, but also extremely, extremely empathic uh, to the point, especially with Neptune retrograde, that you may be confusing your intuition and your feelings um, with someone else's. So you might be picking someone else's in, um, feelings and emotions and confusing it as it's yours and being wrong within your intuition, being wrong with your predictions and what you think about certain things. So again, that's Neptune trying to trip you uh, to make you realize that you need to strengthen your intuition. Um, but it's not going to be too bad because the moon and the Neptune is trining. It's going to be positive um, reinforcement. You know what I mean? And kind of positive reminders, easy reminders. Like, eh, you need to work on that, boo. Um, but you, you know, with the moon, try Neptune too, what's great is that the moon is very include, um, inclusive, like you're kind of really, um, your emotions are inside while, um, your intuition's inside too, which is kind of represented by, uh, Neptune, but is retrograde as well. And so you're really working inwardly, just naturally, you know, you're not even trying, you're just naturally working 
inwardly on your emotions and intuition how they're connected to spirituality and how your com- your communications with unseen things okay so it's actually really cool energy to have for sure um and another thing too is that um the moon is actually going to be sextile mercury so that's great you're actually um you're you know you're when it comes to your your communications and um, how you think about certain things, your thinking processes, and as well as um, your de- detailed uh, routine life, um, you're really trying to like organize things and put things in order, especially with um, the sun still conjuncting Mercury as well. Is really brightened in your life. Uh, it's really really important for you to. How to put your life in order, get your hygiene right, get your work workout plans right, get just get your everyday work environment right. Uh, if you're trying to switch jobs or you're trying to change your work environment, change that shit up. Just getting your life in order. Um, you're not only thinking about it and communicating it, but you're actually taking the actions to do it. Okay, uh, which is great. You're making you know kind of making plans and doing the small steps to focus on that. Um, and what's great is that, you know, even though Virgo is mutable, Virgo is also earth. And so it does, it's, um, the focus, it is focused on kind of figuring out things on a kind of practical way, but it may switch the details every now and then that's where the mutable energy goes. But, you know, with Scorpio being fixed, they're also focused on, doing things a certain way so that's where the connection is focused on and so with the moon being kind of um not kind of when the moon being sextile to both the sun and mercury you're emotionally motivated to get these things done and you are um mostly motivated to like get your life in order so you can be content to focus on other things in your life such as emotionally bonding with others and you may be even um getting your life organized um in within your relate so you can um kind of connect with other people in a better way beyond just you like you know let me get my life in order so i can have this emotional bond bonding relationship with others but kind of like working on you know the everyday routine life of the relationship that you're trying to build you know what i mean so it's kind of could be connected with that too all right so um yep that's my talk for september 13th 2018 please comment like subscribe share care and all that good stuff check out my patreon patreon.com slash astro dim where you can both see free videos and videos for patrons only or patrons only excuse me check out my podcast my podcast is for free it's on most podcast floor um podcast platforms including spotify itunes stitcher google play all that shit and um yeah i think that's it oh check out my etsy that way if you want to read it for me etsy.com slash astro actually etsy.com slash shop slash astro down all right okay peace